Hey everybody, welcome to Planeta Isla. Today we're going to go over the ancient civilization part one, the Romans. Make sure to watch until the end because it's one of the most amazing civilizations I've ever seen. During the 8th century BC, ancient Rome grew from a small town on central Italy's Tiber River into a great empire that covered most of continental Europe, Britain, Western Asia, Northern Africa, and the Mediterranean Islands. According to legend, Rome was founded in 753 BC by twin brothers Romulus and Remus, two sons of Mars. After Romulus killed his brother, he became the first king of Rome, which is named for him. After Romulus, there are seven legendary kings of Rome. While they were referred to as king, all the kings after Romulus were elected by the Senate. Roman's era as a monarchy ended in 509 BC with the overthrow of its seventh king, Lucius Tarquinius Superbus or Tarquin the Proud. After 450 years as a republic, Rome became an empire in the wake of Julius Caesar's rise and fall in the first century BC. The long and triumphant reign of its first emperor Augustus began a golden age of peace and prosperity. Among the many legacies that are still being used today are the widespread use of the Romance languages which are Italian, French, Spanish, Portuguese, and Romanian, derived from Latin. The Western alphabet, the alphabet I'm using now, and the calendar and the emergence of Christianity as a major world religion. The Julian calendar was proposed by Julius Caesar in 46 BC. Pope Gregory XIII made a minor modification which is now known as the Gregorian calendar. The other Roman legacy that we can still see today is the Roman architecture and engineering. Roman architecture and engineering innovations are known to be the best. The most advanced roads and even bridges that they built are still being used up to this time. Roman emperors Augustus, Caligula, and Trajan all ordered aqueducts to be built. With the construction of aqueducts, transportation of water from the main source to the cities and even urban areas were improved. Public health and sanitation were also improved. Parts of aqueduct can be seen all over Europe. There are still aqueducts that is still functioning up to this time. Fountain of Trevi is one. The aqueduct that supplies water for the Fountain of Trevi was constructed during the 19th century BC. Roman cement and concrete are part of the reason why ancient buildings like the Colosseum and Roman Forum are still standing today. Some new buildings and even apartments are attached to some ruins. It is either being used as walls or foundations.
When we think of Rome, there are only two things we envision as Rome. One is the Colosseum or the Flavian Amphitheater as it's called officially. This Colosseum could hold 50,000 to 80,000 people at the same time. The Colosseum is the largest amphitheater ever built and it shows. The other one is the Vatican, which is inside Rome, but a different state. In my next videos, I will be showing you more of what the Romans did in other countries. Subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos about the Romans and much more. Check out this playlist of my videos about travel and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.